So first up, let's shake things up. Gin is the star of a lot of cocktails. In fact, gin is used to make more cocktails than any other liquor. There's even a handful of basic gin styles ranging from dry to sweet. So who knew all of that except mixologist <laughs> Jenny Yelton. She's actually here to show us three different ways to use gin. So this is very exciting because gin is something like I don't know a ton about. And I'm usually not going to order a gin and tonic, to be honest. Well, I have to tell you, actually, I'm, I don't really like gin. I okay. went for years and said, oh, I don't really like it, even when mixing it with uh, Long Islands and things. But I went to a tasting, and somebody said, try this gin and tonic, and I made that face, and similar to the one you made. And I said, <laughs> oh, I don't think so. And I tried it, and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. And gin's actually very similar. It's distilled the mm -hmm. same way as vodka. The okay. difference is that they add botanicals to it, and mm -hmm. the main botanical that you taste is juniper or juniper mm -hmm. extract. And then different types of companies um, make different types of gin, uh, either dry or sweet, but they all use different kinds of botanicals. I thought we'd do something a little different today. Okay, yeah, because most of the time it's a classic drink, right? Martini, gin and tonic, but you actually have three different things for us. I do, I do. So I, I brought the most common, which okay. most people know about outside of a gin and tonic, which is a Tom Collins. Yeah. And you're gonna mix this up today. Okay. So I actually have everything pre-mixed. So it's two shots of gin. So it's two ounces of gin and those throw are- Throw that in there first? Just throw them okay. on in there. And then, there you go. And that's actually a Tom Collins glass, correct? Yeah, this is a Tom Collins glass. And there's kind of a history behind uh, the name Tom Collins, mm -hmm. but uh, it's, it's actually John Collins was where it really <laughs> came from. Um, this is a um, half ounce of um, a sweet. Some, some type of syrup? Yeah, some, we yeah, some syrup simple in there. syrup. Okay. And actually, you can buy simple syrup at the store and use it, but it's really easy to make at home. It just doesn't last as long. Okay. The ones at the stores have preservatives. And then that is an ounce of lemon juice. Okay, so making right. it nice and refreshing for I summer. I know. Now okay. shake it up. Okay. And you don't have to, yeah, there you go. And make sure oh. the lid's, okay, well, the lid is not on very well. Okay. Okay. There you go. And then pour it on in there. And I'm going to add a couple pieces of lemon there for you to make it pretty. So basically, do not let the TV host shake things up. That's Apparently, all right. You're doing a fantastic job. Okay. And then right. stir it with a straw? Yeah, and then just take it. And I always just do a tap. Now, those are biodegradable straws, too, so, you know. Um, no comments there. No comments. Okay. And then I also made um, a, a giblet. So mm -hmm. what's interesting about Jen is in the um, 1700s and uh, late 1700s and early 1800s, water was actually not very good to drink. So more people drank alcohol. Gin is really, I know. <laughs> you like, must have a very non-sober society. I know. Though, well, that was the problem. So a bunch of people in London were drinking a lot of gin and caused the okay. gin craze of 1847. And uh, they actually started to put all these laws in outlawing gin, mainly because people were like using it in their bathtubs and doing some crazy things Whoa. with it. I know. But, gin in the bathtub is uh, never a good idea. Well, that was like during the whole prohibition <laughs> era, too. So what they did with the gin gimlet was the navies had a lot of gin because they didn't have water mm -hmm. on board, but they were getting scurvy. So they started adding limes to their gin, and that's where the gimlet comes from. So it's very similar to a Tom Collins, although it does not have club soda in it, mm -hmm. which I forgot to tell you to add. That would make a difference. And it has um, lime and uh, simple syrup as well. Oh. Okay, well, do you think we, we see the gimlet? It looks so refreshing with that lime. Do you think that we could make up our third drink as well? Yes. Okay. So Let's this is my favorite. So this is actually what made me start rethinking gin. Okay. This is a bee's knees. And a couple things about a bee's knees is it is two, um, two ounces of gin. Okay. So we're going to pour the gin in first. And then it also has uh, the lemon as well. But the one thing it has different than simple syrup is it has a um, ounce of a honey syrup and not honey. So you'll hear a lot of restaurants that say that they're making bees knees and they do it with just throwing some honey in. You really need the honey syrup because okay. the honey syrup um, it, it, is... It, what's, it, the, what's the difference between a honey syrup and just using regular Actually, honey? here's the great thing. Honey syrup is pretty easy to make. It's an ounce. It's basically... Um, Honey and water. Okay. It just uh, it makes a big difference. And we'll just have to pour this in because you know how it's live TV and it well, never seems to see, work I, on me. I just want to touch on this because you said this is what made you rethink gin it as did. drinks. And is it because it's got so much sweetness in it? We've got the honey or the honey syrup as well as the it's lemon. Something about the the combination of the juniper bees and the honey um, makes a big difference in how it brings out the botanicals. Okay. And so. I really, I tried this at a, a restaurant in Seattle, mm -hmm. and it was what was on special. That's why I tried it. Okay. And I was completely taken away and ordered another one, another one, and even paid full price for one. So then I knew I really liked the drink. <laughs> so 
This Anytime is, that that's the sign. <laughs> I go know. For it. Yep. So this is a bee's knee. So I think this is the one you probably had a Tom Collins before, but this is the one if you want to try a little go sip ahead and of try. it. Yeah. And, and for the record, I had not had a Tom Collins, and I could definitely get that lemon scent and that just that fresh zest. So let's try this one. So it, it's a good morning, right? Anytime you get a couple sips, uh, I know. sips in before like ten o'clock, but that you can definitely taste the honey in it and. Jenny, thank you so much for reintroducing sure. us to gin. If maybe it's not your go-to drink, we can definitely add in some of these options. And it's great in the summer. It's just very refreshing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.